Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Christine and today I am going to show you my nighttime routine for dry mature skin. And then I'm going to show you my once a week routine of nano needling. So I just thought I'd show you so come on with. Okay so first thing I do in the morning of the day that I'm going to nano needle I get out my supplies and I have a couple different things in here but I have my Dr. Pen that I purchased a long time ago but I do this pretty much every Monday night so you just charge it up so it's got the red light so until that turns green and I just kind of get out my supplies I mean I use my cleansing balm every night but I'm getting out my hyaluronic acid serum and then I'm also getting out the needle you know so a nano needle doesn't really have needles it's just kind of more of a scrubber so I'm getting out, it's a disposable tip, and I just have quite a few of them. I can link them in the description. So, yep, I'm just getting that ready for tonight. Hey friends, I just thought I'd show you my nighttime Monday night routine, which I am going to be doing some nano needling. So I showed you earlier that I charged my Dr. Pen up and I have the nano needle ready. So every time that you do this, you use a new one. And I'll show you how that goes into the unit. So I'm just snipping it open. And it's very easy. So you just take it and it literally just screws on and it only goes so far and like it stops. So the next thing is it has settings around the edge and what I do, because this is nano needling, which means that it's just like kind of scrubbing the outer surface of your skin, is I have it actually pretty much at the highest setting. And you'll see it go up and down. So like that's down. And this is all the way up. And you can see that it's just sticking just over the surface. Okay. So next thing's next. I love to use cleansing balm to wash my face. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I literally can scrub all of my mascara off. It gets off waterproof mascara. This one is from Good Molecules. It is a great brand. I picked it up at Ulta. I originally from, who was it, L? L Artistry or something, one of the makeup gurus. Um, she suggested it. It's just like the drunk elephant. Uh, makeup removing balm so if you've ever seen that this is very similar same with like Clinique take the day off like that so I actually scoop some of this out and I keep it in the shower so I usually take my makeup off in the shower but it's been a long day and I did my hair today so I'm not gonna mess around with a shower tonight I'm gonna have this hair t for tomorrow because I actually straightened it so I'm going to get my hair up and I have one of these little, you know, Velcro around your face, etc. So I'm just kind of pulling my hair back as much as I can so that it's just my, my face is exposed. And I just kind of twirl it and stick it up with a clip. And then I'm going to wrap this around, around my ears etc and so it's basically my skin exposed and I'm not going to preliminarily wash off anything I am just going to go right in with the cleansing balm and this actually comes with a little scooper right in it so if you can see that it's got like a little spoon you just take the top off and I'm kind of down to pan here but not that much. Let's see, what do I normally use? I guess kind of a generous amount. And I'm gonna get the water on. I use warm water on my skin. So I have about that much. I might need just a touch more. And I just put it on my fingers. Okay, that's pretty warm. And I'm just going to massage it into my skin. 
And I just had powder on today, but I'm just getting right into my eyes to get that mascara off. And then I take one of those, um, my, I was gonna show you, but, and you can open your eyes with this, obviously, but I take one of those like Norwex cloths, uh, like a microfiber cloth. Yeah, it's looking pretty crazy, but you see how it literally just like takes everything off. I have my eyebrow stuff, all my, pretty much, pretty much everything. All right, and then I'm just gonna rinse my hands and I am feeling pretty vulnerable right now. But I'm going to wet my towel, so this is a Norwex brand. And I'm just doing like a corner. And it's kind of got that feel to it where it really scrubs, and I'm just gonna go around the outer edge first. And then I'm gonna go over my eyes. Give it a rinse. And like I said, it doesn't burn my eyes at all. It just makes them a little bit cloudy. I don't wear contacts or anything. And I just really love the feel of the balm and this towel against my skin. So I had Benefit mascara on. Okay, well you're getting to see the real me here. <laughs> Okay, it literally took everything off of my face. And that's what you want. You want to start out with a clean slate, as clean as you can. You can do like a microderm abrasion uh, before doing the nano needling, but I just did one a couple of days ago, so I'm not going to damage my skin by doing that again. But I'm just going over it down under my neck, etc. I like to do this Monday nights. It's just a routine that I have. And it just feels so good. Your skin will be just shining and bright and rejuvenating and renewing itself, you know, uh, during the week. Okay, so that part is done, totally cleansed. And I just find that taking the time for yourself is, you know, meditative. You know, like it's like meditation. It's just like, you know, reading or, or doing something. I'm taking that time. I mean, that didn't take that long. That was, you know, five minutes. Every night I wash my face like that, okay? And on Monday nights, we're going to go into doing the nano needling, the doctor pen, and I have my hyaluronic acid, that Cos de Baja, that I use in my regular facial routine. And it's hyaluronic acid serum, don't let that scare you. You can use any types of serum or essence if you want. I just have always liked the feel of this one and I love that it comes in the pump. So what I do is this pen has all different levels. So right now, I've turned it all the way up. I think we kind of showed you. So there's just a touch sticking over the top. And then you hold the button down and it's got the different levels. One, two, four, and then goes back down to one. And you can hear kind of the intensity of it. I pretty much do a five on this because I'm not actually puncturing the skin. I'm just kind of scuffing over the top for lack of better. This doesn't hurt at all. My skin will be red afterwards, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. So this is a perfect thing to do once a week at least on your skin. And I have mature dry skin. So what I do is I start out with going in an area. And so I take some of the hyaluronic acid. Okay, and I just take a dab. And like, I like to start on my forehead. I'm gonna turn it on. And five, so I'm turning it on a five. And I'm actually gonna switch hands. So this is, I'm right-handed. And then I've got the pump right here. And so if I feel it being dry, I'm just going to pump a little bit more and put it on. So. 
I go over it like a grid pattern. And I'm just looking in the camera, that's okay. Okay, and then you go sideways. And it just tingles. And then you go in circles. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on and I'm gonna go into the middle. Yeah, I had this video as a kind of a special request from one of my friends and she didn't know what nano needling was. All right, so I'm gonna do my 11s in the middle here, which is a problem spot for a lot of ladies. And I'll probably do it a couple of times, but you can just see my skin is getting a little bit red. And I'm gonna do the middle part. And I'm going across, up and down. As long as you do that, you're good. All right, and I'm gonna do my 11s in the middle here. And it really just gets that product in there too. And I swear it doesn't hurt, it just tingles. The only time I think it would hurt is if you let it get dry. And then I have my mask that I usually put on. I have an Aduro um, red light, actually multicolor light mask that I put on. I don't know, I've just been trying to keep my skin as good as possible. Just having like super dry skin is tough. All right, so you can kind of see my forehead is red. And like I said, I'm not going anywhere doing anything, but I am going to move on to the lower part of my face. And I'm just kind of taking what was extra on my forehead and moving it down. The only part that I have a problem with usually is here. It kind of makes me sneeze and it tickles. I really like to get like the crow's feet. I don't get real close to my eye. And just like those extra little lines. And then back and forth. And then swirl. And then your labial fold here. Get that extra moisture in there. So I did find this pen on Amazon which I can leave a link. And it is an investment. The needles are an investment as well, but I bought a big pack, so I think this is year number four with them. This is, yeah, year number four, even like with this pen. So, all right, need a little extra. So I did have surgery on this side of my face, so I'm extra careful. I had um, my parotid gland removed. Um, from having a tumor so um, I don't really mess too much I don't have any feeling in my earlobe and this and that that's for another time but I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side get up by my crow's feet etc and just across my cheek in general in the fold you can literally go right over the top of your lips with this too, which I like to do. It gives them nice exfoliation. But like I said, I don't really mess with this one area that I had the surgery in, so, but you can. I'm just gonna go over my crow's feet here. Woo, and that tickles right there. I don't know, I've been getting a few more wrinkles on the one side because I think I lay on this side. And it kind of leaves that and then, just gently over the chin, nothing major. But I try to get those folds good. Go over those a couple times. And then I go right over the lips. And it helps with those lip lines. They're just, I'm just starting to form some lip lines. And I think this helps keep them at bay. And then you can go over any other trouble spots again, like I might do my 11s again. Tonight is my night for plucking too, so I'm gonna get that done and get over with. Some people do go like on the upper part of their lids, I don't know. I don't really like to mess with that. I'm just doing my areas. All right, and I think that's about it. You just hold the button, turn that off, and then you discard the little needle. So then I take my towel that 
I had only wet kind of the one side and I'm just going to wet it down again and wipe this off. And then I'm going to do my regular nighttime routine. So let me go grab my stuff and I'll show you what I put on at night. Okay, so my skin is pretty much dry from what we just did. We did the nano needling and I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty shiny, nice feeling and kind of a little tingly. So I just kind of do my regular routine of I'm using my cellular water first. And again, this is just my protocol for mature dry skin. Just using one of those reusable puffs and just kind of going over it, getting anything that the cleansing balm missed. But if you look, I think I've only got a couple things in the corner of my eyes, but it literally took my mascara off, my eyeliner off, my eyebrow stuff off. I mean, it literally takes everything off. I swear by this balm. I did fall in love with the Drunk Elephant uh, balm, but I didn't fall in love with the price, right? This is uh, half the price of that and works just as good. Same with like Clinique. Clinique I loved, the take the day off balm, blah, blah, blah. But I love this um, instant cleansing balm. I hope they never go out of, of uh, business because I love quite a few of their products. Speaking of which, the next thing that I'm using at night is from them as well. It's good molecules and it is the niacinamide brightening toner. So it comes in like a glass jar and there goes my cap. That's okay. So and I'm just putting it on one of those reusable pads again and the toning feels so good after nano needling. It just is cooling. And I do kind of like fan myself a little bit to let it dry. That step. And then I use my urea lotion, which is like an essence. So it's really doesn't have a lot of substance to it, but that also feels good. And you can use this uh, nano needling as well. I started doing that. And then I'm just kind of down to the end, so I didn't do that for this session. And you just put some in your hand. It's kind of like, for lack of better, like men's like aftershave or whatever. So you put it in your hands and just touch your face and neck, kind of gent, you know, gentle hands. And I really like to get that over my lip and it just feels so good. And then any extra, I'm always putting on the back of my hands, you know, that kind of tends to tell our age as well as our little crow's feet and lines, etc. And that just feels so good. I'm just gonna fan myself for a minute. And then next is this Tranex. This is a transamic um, acid, which you use for like melasma, like the, like discoloration. I mean, I know this is my surgery side and such, but you can see kind of the red that you get as you get older. I don't really have a lot on my forehead, so this is the area that I concentrate this on. And it comes out in a squeeze, so I just squeeze about that much on my hand. Rub my hands together, praying hands, and I just put that basically on my cheeks. So like if you have rosacea or something, and any extra, just smoothing on the back of my hands. And then the next few things I use are similar to my daytime routine. So I use that snail mucin. So if you saw my get ready with me mature skin where I put my makeup on instead of taking it off, um, I use this as well. And you can see that I'm kind of almost out of it. I got one more in my stash. And it's kind of the gooey, 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 snaily, interesting feeling. And that goes on everywhere and it just really moisturizes and it's got that extra little bit of power for like moisturizing your skin. I have super dry skin coming into the winter months here. I'm kind of dreading it, but I am excited that I won't be sweating all the time <laughs> from summer. So, and I'm just going down. I usually do my decollete a little bit here too. So and you just have like that, like nice sheen. Not sure how much you're picking up, but you can like see. It's a little bit different 
lighting than my other bathroom in our winter location. And then you just kind of let that dry a little bit. And then I use my regular everyday under eye cream from Sukiata Sukata and that's the Urea Moisturizing Eye Cream. I can link everything down below. I've used this for I don't know how many years now and I never want to run out of it. I was always getting those super dry spots in the corner of my eyes. So I would get a dry spot in this corner and on this corner and then the underneath was fine but I'm just dabbing this on all the way up with my uh, ring finger, which has like the least amount of pressure. That's what they say. Any extra, I put on my 11s in the middle. And then another little generous dab, putting that in my problem areas and just letting it really like soak in. So right now, so the other trick is I like to let my nighttime skin routine kind of soak into my skin. So as soon as I put my pajamas on, that's when I put, do my face routine. And then I have a few hours in my lounge clothes, that soaks in, and then go to bed. I also do use a silk pillowcase that helps with um, wrinkles and such. I was finding that, gosh, I would have those sleep lines for hours after waking up. And I, you know, of course I Googled it, what have you, and they said using a satin silky pillowcase helps. So that's a tip from me. All right, then my last heavy duty thing that I do use is my hyaluronic acid intensive cream from CauseRx. I'm not sure, I think CauseRx is getting phased out of Ulta, um, which is the other, the snail mucin as well. So I'm, I've got a, one more tub after this and it lasts forever because it is so intense but i'm a little nervous i'm hoping that i can i'm pretty sure i can get it on amazon and it just is a little bit thicker so i take a fairly generous amount and i just go over my entire face with this and i really try to get i just got it in my hair i really try to get like i said above my lips here which, you know, tend to start wrinkling as we get older. And, and this just is like creme de la creme of people that have dry skin. This is the best that I've ever used for that feeling of moisturizing and doing the, the nano needling, the microdermabrasion, what have you. Oh gosh, it just, I mean, I just literally like put it, you know, over the top of my lips and just everything and down my neck. And so I am finding myself when I do use this extra, like coming up into the winter months before we leave for our winter location, that I do need to change my pillowcase or I start getting little acne from the lotion this being on my pillowcase. Not so much in the summer because I don't really coat it on as much. I just use a little bit, but we're kind of getting into that. And yeah, so I'm just kind of the fresh face look. That was my last step. And I appreciate it. I appreciate you stopping by and checking things out. So I'm going to snap my fingers and close up this video with a full face of makeup. So this might be a little bit better of an angle and you can kind of really see how glistening my skin is. So I just thought I'd show you that. Okay friends, I snapped my finger and I've got my makeup on. So I just thought I'd show you all the different things that I do for my mature, dry, actually and sensitive skin. So if there's anything that you have questions about, just leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll list all of the things that I use and I'll have links to them in my description. So thanks for stopping by my little channel and I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care and God bless. And today we are going to show you, we are going to show you, I'm gonna show you. I do nano needling. So I shot, shot I'd show you, shot I'd show you. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Christine and, oh. <laughs>
and I almost 